How's it going, YouTube? Um, I want to thank all of you guys so, so very much for checking this video out. Um, I want to tell you guys out there, ladies, guys, ladies, um, everyone out there, um, about being in this mobile recall breakdown. Um, if you are a multimedia entrepreneur, being an artist, a producer, engineer, all that kind of stuff, you'll have these. Um, let me give you a background of what I went through before I continue. Um, so, you know, I'm an artist, producer, engineer, um, you know, do video editing and all that kind of stuff, photo stuff, all that stuff. And, um, I, I suffer from depression, um, and people classify depression as something that you just emotional. There's it's more to it. Um, it's a chemical imbalance in your brain, and you, you know, yeah, sometimes medicine might help. Um, me, I prefer to not work with medicine. Um, it's tough, but you learn to work with it. Um, it's something that doesn't go away. It'll never go away. Um, uh, it's just a, like I said a chemical imbalance in the brain it doesn't make people if you're having depression it doesn't make you slower or anything like that it's just your chemical makeup inside your mind um, you know you go through these droughts of can't can't sleep very lethargic don't have energy and you, you feel down and um, what I want to talk to you guys is um, situations I've been in. Um, like I said a couple weeks ago, um, I had what we call a breakdown, and um, what a breakdown is is some point where you start feeling negative and feeling wondering why, and you just can't do much. Um, you know, um, what happened was uh, almost a year and a half ago, I had everything stolen from me. I started from zero. All my masters gone. Everything you're hearing now is just days and days of work. Just tons of tons of tons of recuperating of what I'm doing. If you could see behind me and to the side of me, um, this isn't half of what I've ever had. This is a quarter of what I had. I lost everything. And um, I went to this mode where I felt like I'm not making it. We see people on the internet who have made it by sheer luck is what we could say. And we have people like myself who self-taught, who have learned the ropes through school, through experience, and just study and try to perfect their craft. And you're probably, if you're in this mode, the breakdown mode right now, and you're watching this, you're probably thinking to yourself, you know, I'm working so hard and I'm, I, and I'm still in a position I'm not. You might be right now going to work, driving somewhere, or thinking to yourself while you're going to work, why am I in this position? Why am I working this job that I hate? I hate this job so much. It breaks me down every time I go there. I feel so bad about myself like I feel. I feel that every day I go to work um, at this certain job I go to. I won't name the job. And I ask, I ask myself, you know, I should, you know, this, is, this sucks. I, I'm never going to make it. I'm working so hard. I'm doing all these things. And being an engineer and all that kind of stuff, you're tasked to do a lot of things. And it breaks you down when people say, oh, this isn't right, this isn't right. But you cannot control that when, in fact, it comes from the person you're working with. If they're not, um, like singers, for example, if they're not really um, singing right or drummers are not playing on time, they blame you because you're the engineer. You're supposed to make that right. But a lot of times, you can't. You have to work with them. And if you start getting down on yourself. You know, being an entrepreneur in this multimedia thing is really hard, and if you're watching this, you know what I'm talking about, and it's not easy. Um, if you look at being an entrepreneur and you share your work, look at, for, ex for example, on YouTube, um, just the way I talk, the way I look, the way I write music. I get comments all the time about how bad I am. I should quit. I'm terrible. I don't know how to write music. My keys are off. I'm out of sync. Out of All that kind of stuff, no matter what. Even if I work so hard. You like work so hard on one point, like making sure the audio is done, and then someone says, hey, your nose looks weird. You know, just stuff like that. And being an entrepreneur, you see these, and a lot of the times they'll tell yourself, oh, you know, they don't get to me. And then you break down, and your subconscious kind of packed all those comments and all those things of hate, and you kind of push that on yourselves without knowing it, believe it or not. Everybody says that, but when they have their breakdown, like I'm explaining, you probably know what I'm talking about. Well. I'm going to tell you there's no real answer to that. 
I suffer from it, and I told myself that this last breakdown was pretty bad a couple of weeks ago. I'm, I'm done feeling like that, because I look at myself and I see the people around me being successful, and I'm barely being able to pay rent, let's be honest. But I'm not quitting music. I'm not. It's in my blood, and I'm not stopping. Um, but I want to tell you guys, um, when you're in this situation, you have to look at what you have and what you've accomplished and build on that accomplishment. Folks, I could sit here and talk about all the stuff that has been gone, all the <laughs> all the keyboards, all the mics I saved, all the racks I've saved and used for albums, the masters, all my work is gone. You know, I was thinking about killing myself, you know, I told myself, you know, if, I, if it ever happened, I'd kill myself, but then when I think about it, it's like, I'm here today, and I'm making this video to you to tell you about this position that I've been in, and you might be in. I'm not saying your situation is bad or worse. Um, <clears throat> not bad or worse, but uh, less of the situation or greater than. All right, and I'm not saying I feel your pain, but I'm in a point where you might be at, where you're um, down on yourself. But we hear this, but we don't really think about it because. You know, I'm always told all the time, wow, you're really good at what you do, why are you here? Why are you at school? Why, why aren't you making millions? And I think to myself, man, I must suck. I must be the worst person in there. And probably you'll get a lot of experts in the comment that might agree. But I, I have a hard time of comparing myself to other people. And I want to tell you guys, you should never compare yourself to other people. Me, I'm Martin Ross, and you are you. We're not the same in the goals that we are, are trying to gain, um, in a sense. We are all on a different path, we are. Um, let's not get that confused um, with, um, we're all one, but we are all on a different path, and some people's paths might not look um, as easy as another one. Um, you know, you could be digging for gold, you know, and quit, and walk away, and that gold is right there on the other side. It could be years, it could be 10, 20 years. Don't give up, guys. Look at what you have, and I know people say this all the time. Look at what you have, really, look at what you have. I could have nothing, and this is my story. I'm telling you guys, as an artist, a producer, that's the worst thing in the world, the worst feeling in the world, to have someone break in your home and steal everything that you love, everything. People see this equipment and say, oh, well, you got equipment, blah, 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 you know, but they don't understand the hard work that I took to get the equipment that was stolen from me that grew up. That was that was like my kids. We grew up. It helped me learn how to play music and everything and losing all that kind of stuff and now starting over. The system that I have here in this room is not nowhere near the same workflow I've ever had. Um, I'm always hitting corners where I wish I had the other stuff, but the saying goes, count your blessings, and that means something. That means, look, I could have zero, or I could have this. I would prefer to have this. And you might be sitting at the job saying, look, I've been doing this for a while, and I, I'm just done doing this. And just think this to yourself. You and millions of other people are sitting here right now doing that. And I'm not saying your situation is like that. But I'm not trying to dumb down the situation either. I'm saying, don't give up on yourself. Believe in you. No matter what the comments say on my videos, if you've seen my Top Boxer DX channel, it's really bad. I get tons of, oh, he's terrible. Oh, he's annoying. But I believe in myself, and I keep going. Yeah, comment bad at comment church. Don't sit here and pretend like they don't. They do. Because you know, I know, that if you're doing videos like me, you put those videos up there because you are proud of them and you want people to see them, right? You don't just put up videos to say, oh, I want people to say bad stuff about me, no. If you're an artist and entrepreneur, you want to show your showcase your work. That's what you're here for. You're here to showcase your work and hopefully somebody likes it and maybe helps you go to where you want to go. But when you're feeling down on yourself and you look at the negatives, you gotta stop that. You gotta stop comparing yourself to somebody else and you gotta stop seeing what you don't have. Start seeing what you have. Start believing in yourself. Start giving yourself more options to grow. Doing the same thing over may not work. Do three things, do four things, do five things over and see how it goes and see where it gets you. You know, 
The only thing I have to say is there's no answer to this, but the only answer that I can think of that best fits it is do not give up and believe in yourself. I don't want to tell you guys out there, please, 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 when you're in that deep depression state, focus on the good things. Start seeing the good things. Start seeing the successful things you're doing, even if it's failures. Understand yourself that you cannot have success without failures. Millionaires, um, presidents, um, people who are like us have failed more times than they have success. And it's their stories out there. Another thing is to always, always, always strengthen your weaknesses. If you feel weak in something, practice that weaknesses till it gets stronger, till you don't feel weak anymore. And if you have no strengths, then you might be looking at something a little wrong. Look at it differently. But again, guys, I want to tell you once more, believe in yourself and never give up. Because when you give up, you don't believe in yourself. I'm Martin Ross, and I want to tell you guys thank you so much for watching.